اعوذ باللہ من الشیطان الرجیم بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم ورحمت اللہ وبرکاتہو اٹینشن آل مسلمز کرسچنز اور ہندوز دس ویڈیو از ان انگلیش ایز ویل ایز ان ہندی یہ ویڈیو انگلیش میں بھی ہے اور ہندی لینگویج میں بھی ہے یہ دس از دا پیمفلیٹ ان اردو لینگویج مسیح مہدی مہادیب انٹرنیشنل اوکے اٹ ہیز گارڈ ٹین امپورٹنٹ چیلنجز ٹو دا پریزنٹ مسلمس اینڈ دا مسلم اسکالرس آف دس ورلڈ دا چیلنجز آر ویری امپورٹنٹ کائنڈلی واچ دس کمپلیٹ ویڈیو and you will come to know whether these challenges are true or false because these challenges are based upon the holy books the ahadees of Muhammad Mustafa وسلم, and Quran and all the old holy books delivered to the prophets of their era یہ میرا چیلنج ہے سارے جہاں کے مسلمانوں کے مفتیوں کو عالموں کو اور اور بہت بڑے ریسرچرز کو یہ پیمفلٹ ہے مسیا مہدی مہادیو انٹرنیشنل کا جس کے اندر دس کروڑ روپے کا چیلنج ہے اس کے اندر دس ایسے بیانات ہیں میرے جو انخلاب برپا کرتے ہیں سارے جہاں میں دس پیمفلٹ ہیز گاڈ ٹین چیلنجز ٹو دس ورلڈ وچ ول کریٹ دا ریولیوشن ان دا ورلڈ دا چیلنجز آر ویری سمپل آئی سی دیم ان ون لائن ایچ یہ میرا ویڈیو دیکھتے جائیے اس میں آپ کو اردو لینگویج یعنی ہندی میں بھی ملے گا اور انگلش میں بھی ملے گا تاکہ اردو والے بھی اور انگلش والے دونوں سمجھ سکیں کائنڈلی واچ دس ویڈیو کمپلیٹلی یو ول کم ٹو No all in English language as well as in Urdu or Hindi language, okay? It's very important for you. Allahu Akbar. I am the Jesus Christ of second coming, the Mahdi alayhi salam, who is called as Mahadev among Hinduism. Muslims and uh, Zoroastrians and Christians and Jews are expecting my arrival, but by mistake, Hindu people, Egyptians, Greeks and Romans, are worshipping our images in advance because our coming prophecy was in the picture language pictorial language these people started worshipping those images so now I arrived I am Mahdi alayhi salam Masiha after the time that was coming to the world that was coming to the world I am coming to the world so I am coming to the world so I am coming to the world my advice is that I am Mahdi alayhi salam جسے کوڈ ورڈ میں عیسیٰ ابن مریم کہا گیا ہے خاتل مسیح دجال جسے کہا گیا ہے مسیح ابن دعود انجیل میں تورت میں وہ میں آ چکا ہوں مہدی مسیح آئی کی شخصیت ہے میں آ رہا ہوں میں اب آج ایسے آپ کو دس پوائنٹس بتاؤں گا انشاءاللہ پہلے میں انگلیش میں بتا دیتا ہوں پھر اردو میں لیکن پورا میرا ویڈیو دیکھئے ڈاؤنلوڈ کریے عالموں کو مفتی کو بتائیے First, I will deliver in English, then in Urdu language. Kindly download my video, show to all Muslim scholars, researchers of this world, okay? The first point is that, first of all, listen to me. Whatever my, these uh, 10 challenges are there, based upon my statements, actually is totally against the present faith of the Muslims. These challenges are very much certified as true based upon holy books like Quran and Ahadith like Siyasatta including uh, uh, Siyasatta means uh, Sahih Bukhari, Sahih Muslim, Tirmizi Sharif, Ibn Majah, Mishkat Sharif, Abu Dawood Sharif, and uh, uh, Mawta Imam Malik so these books certify my claims as true including Quran also my claims are very much true 100% right because they are supported with the proofs 
of Quran and Hadiths and not only Quran and Hadiths, old books also like Bible, Old Testament, New Testament, uh, P. Psalms and other books of Romans, books of Greeks, books of Hinduism, books of uh, dependence, books of uh, other religions. Are you getting me? Whatever I claim here is perfectly true, but it is totally, totally against the present faith of the Muslims because their faith is full of doubts, have no base, no proofs, but just a conjecture to follow. Just a conjecture to follow. They don't have authentic proofs supported with Quran and Hadiths either due to not understanding the wisdom of Quran and the prophecies of Hadiths or due to lack of Islamic knowledge. So the present fate of Muslim is that there are two persons Mahdi and Isa ibn Maryam means Isa son of Mary to arrive before end of the world. But my claim is totally against this. I say Mahdi and Isa ibn Maryam of second coming are not two different persons but one. Okay? I win ultimately. Alhamdulillah. Now second point. All the Muslims scholars and Muslims think that there is no Rasul to come after Prophet Muhammad Mustafa Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. The Nabi. Because Prophet Muhammad Mustafa Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam is the last Prophet. The Khatim and Nabi means the last Prophet. Yes, it is very much true. But Mahdi Alayhi Salam is not the Nabi, means not the Prophet of any kind. But the Rasul of Allah, means the Sent One of Allah, means the, an Apostle of Allah. The present faith of Muslims is that there is no Rasul to come after Muhammad Mustafa Sallallahu and Muhammad Mustafa Sallallahu is the last Rasul as well as last Nabi also, means last Prophet also. But my claim is that I am Mahdi Alayhi Salam, the Mahdi Alayhi Salam, the so-called Jesus Christ of Second Coming in a symbolic language. I am the Rasul of Allah, means Sent One of Allah, Apostle of Allah, but not the Prophet of any kind. So this second faith is also against the present faith of the Muslims. Okay? I am supported with Quran and holy proofs, but Muslims are not having the proof of their faith. They have, they misunderstood the proofs and they follow their own desires. Okay. Now third point is that Allahu Akbar The Quran is delivered for the third point my claim is that the Quran is delivered for the two Rasuls one Rasul is the Prophet also the last Prophet Muhammad Mustafa and another Rasul is Rasul means the sent one by Allah without Nabwat is Mahdi so Quran is delivered for two Rasuls during Muhammad Mustafa and whatever the verses of Quran is speaking about the word Rasul is also implying upon Mahdi salam. So, this Quran is like as if delivered now for Mahdi salam, but it is not delivered now. It had already been delivered long ago. Mera dusra, uh, okay, now first I go in English, okay? So, Quran is for two Rasuls. One Rasul is Khatam al Nabi Muhammad Mustafa salam, and another Rasul is for Another Rasul is Mahdi alayhi salam, is myself. But I am not the Nabi of any kind. Okay. But the present faith of Muslim is that there is no Rasul after Prophet Muhammad Mustafa sallallahu and Quran is delivered only for Prophet Muhammad Mustafa sallallahu alayhi who is Rasul as well as Nabi. But it is not, the Rasul, word Rasul is not employing upon Mahdi alayhi salam at all. It is the present faith of Muslims. It is wrong. My faith is correct because it is supported with Quran and Hadith. Okay. Now the fourth point is very important. Mirza Ghulam Ahmad Khadiani is the Masih Dajjal certified by all holy books and his entire group, Jamaat-e-Madiyah. 
is Masih Dajjal. But Muslims say that, no, 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 he is not Masih Dajjal. He is a, he is a common Dajjal. Kazab means the false person. The worst nuisance in Islam, the worst examination among Muslims through Mirza Ghulamat Khadiani, but he is not the Masih Dajjal. Who said this? Muslims say this. But I say, he is the Masih Dajjal along with his entire group. That is my point. It is also the fourth point against the present Muslim's faith. But my claim is that he is a Masih Dajjal along with the entire Jamaat Ahmadiyya. He will die and his uh, Jamaat, the group will continue with many heads and many leaders worldwide. So it is Masih Dajjal. But Muslims say no, he is not Masih Dajjal, neither his group is Masih Dajjal. They are just uh, a common Dajjal. So there is again an a revolution. Now point number five. They say that Mahdi Al Salam, Muhammad Modu Ahmad Khan, that myself is not the Rasul or Mahdi Al Salam of any kind. But I say I am the Mahdi Al Salam because all the signs, more hundred, well, more than eight hundred, are certified upon me. Unlike any other claimants of this, of the of being Mahdi in this world. But they say no, I am not. They say Muhammad Maudud Ahmad Khan is not the Mahdi or Isaab Nehmariam at all. But I say I am, I am supported with the proofs. So this is the fifth point. Now sixth point. It's very important point. In Quran, for the last 1400 years, nobody could find the Masih Dajjal mentioned in Quran. Because they couldn't locate it. Yes. But I came. There is proof of Masih Dajjal and in Quran very much. But present Muslims say that there is no mention of any Masih Dajjal in the Quran. But I say it is there but in parts. I have recollected them and proved it. Okay. Now another point. I say that the prophecies of Muhammad Mustafa sallallahu alaihi wasallam and the prophecies uh, of old prophets about Masih Dajjal and Mahdi alaihi salam to prophet uh, are actually symbolic. They are not pointing to real story or real uh, real scenes. Okay. But Muslims say that no, Muhammad Mustafa sallallahu alaihi wasallam saw. Masih Dajjal going round the Kaaba, so Masih Dajjal will come in the Kaaba and Masih Dajjal will not enter into the Kaaba also. So, my faith is that whatever uh, prophecies and signs of Masih Dajjal and Mahdi are there in, among Muslims are actually symbolic, not pointing to reality. But Masih Dajjal's coming and Masih's coming is a reality. But the scenes are since interpretation are different, the prophecies interpretation as well as prophecies through visions have different interpretation, not the same. But Muslims say that no, 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 Mahdi alayhi salam, Isa ibn Maryam will come, and they are not two. They are two persons. They will come and in Makkah and Medina, and he will be speak uh, speaking Arabic. No, but my saying is that it is not. The prophecies are symbolic and not pointing to real Makkah, real Medina and real uh, Isa ibn Maryam salam, and real going around, the, uh, ka, going around the Kaaba and not real the Baitul Muqaddas. So, and not the Yahudi is the Jews of Israel. I say that these things are totally different and pointing towards Qadian Punjab, the mosque Aqsa built by Masih Dajjal and I say that Madina means the city of Mahdi salam where I am living and I say that Allahu Akbar Masih Dajjal is Mirza Khulam Khadiani Jamaat Ahmadiyya. So I claim that all the prophecies about Masih Dajjal and Mahdi salam about end days done by Prophet Muhammad Mustafa salam, and other prophets are symbolic not the real in nature. But Muslims say they are real. Another point. Muslims say that Mahdi alayhi salam will come in Makkah and Medina somewhere. But I say that Mahdi alayhi salam will come among the group of Masih Dajjal 
from Khurasan, from the capital of Afghanistan, from that generation, Mahdi alayhi salam will come among the group of Masih Dajjal only. But Muslims say that no, he will not come among the group of Masih Dajjal. But I say, Mahdi alayhi salam was supposed to take birth among the group of Masih Dajjal and destroy just like Pharaoh. So this is also another controversial point. Now, another point. Muslims say that Isa ibn Maryam alayhi salam, the Jesus Christ of us coming, son of Maryam alayhi salam, is not dead. He is alive in the heavens. He was lifted up in the heavens, not dead. And somebody was replaced in his place. But I say, he died a natural death and nobody was replaced in his place because I am supported with the proof of Quran and Hadiths. But these Muslims also have the support of Quran and Hadiths. The difference between us is that they misunderstood <coughs> the wisdom of Quran and I have understood it and now I am explaining which can be easily understood by anybody. So I say Isa ibn Maryam is dead. Mashallah. Peace be upon him and will come only on the judgment day. He is not going to come. But Muslims say that he is going, he is going to come and pray behind Mahdi al But I say there is no mention of Mahdi al Wherever the word Imam is coming, they are writing Mahdi al -Salam. So I say Mahdi and Isa are one and the same. And Isa, Jesus son of Mahdi al -Salam, who came 2000 years back is already dead. Not going to come. And why did... Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, was created without father. I say because Allah wanted to replace Bani Israel and the Messiah of Bani Israel with another Messiah from King David's generation. That's why Allah created Jesus Christ, son of Mary, without father as a miracle to fulfill the promise to give a Messiah to the Bani Israel. But Muslims say that no, to show that Allah can create anybody without father also. So he has created Isa ibn Maryam. But I say that Isa ibn Maryam is dead. Peace be upon him and not going to come till doomsday. And he was created to, to as an example of, as a trial pack of Mahdi alayhi salam given to the Bani Israel to fulfill the promise given to the Bani Israel and to teach them a lesson. And he is not going to come again. But in his place, Mahdi was supposed to come among Muslims. So I have arrived now. Now another point is very important. Allah Muslims say that Mahdi is not Lord Shiva, is not Narsimha, is not Venkateshwara, is not Jasr Khan, he is not uh, uh, Kalki Avatar and uh, he is not uh, the Lord Venkateshwara, is not the Zeus or uh, Osiris uh, or uh, God, Jupiter God like that. But I say, Mahdi alayhi salam, actually Mahdi alayhi salam is called as Lord Shiva, Venkateshwara, Dattatriya, Kalki, Avatar, Narasimha among Hindu tribals of India, different tribes of India and Zeus, Osiris, Jesar Khan, Mirako Bansu, Mitraya, Ahura Mazda, Seushant among different religions of this world and Masaya bin David. Are you getting me? Muslims say that Masih Dajjal will be coming in Israel among Jews, among the unbeliever Jews. But I say that Masih Dajjal was supposed to come among Muslims only as a Kalma reciting person. But Muslims say no, he is going to come in Israel and enter among Muslims. But I say Masih Dajjal was supposed to come as a Muslim just with the appearance of Muslim he was to appear and, and another point Muslims say that Mahdi Salam will be having beard, will be having a mama, will be having a big cloth on the head and will be riding a white horse like that. But I say that Mahdi Salam will be clean shaved, so much modern, wearing goggles, wearing a hat, modern, an Islamic dress, mashallah following Islam perfectly but in modern in looks. I am supported with the holy proofs of Hadith and Quran. But Muslims say that no, Mahdi will be having beard, will be very much aged and will be will not be modern. He will be having the dress of an Arab like that. But I say, particularly for Mahdi Mahdi will 
be totally not in the looks of Muhammad Mustafa sallallahu alaihi wasallam he will be against the he will be against the resemblance of Muhammad Mustafa sallallahu alaihi wasallam prophet's resemblance but masih dajjal will be having the resemblance of just like as if he is a prophet or he is like a believer so i succeed here are you getting me ay musalmano present jo aqeeda hai aap logon ka us aqeede ke khilaf ye mera elan hai ये पेपर दुनिया में इनखला बरपा करेगा क्योंकि आपका प्रेजेंट अकीदा यह है कि मेहदी अलैहिस्सलाम और ईसा इब्ने मरियम दो अलग शख्सियत आने वाले हैं लेकिन मेरा दावा यह है कि दो एक ही शख्सियत है दो नहीं दूसरा ऐलान आप लोग कहते हो कि रसूल और नबी में कोई फर्क नहीं है दोनों के माने एक है और बाज लोग कहते हैं फर्क है लेकिन नबी कोई आने वाले नहीं है बात करेक्ट है लेकिन रसूल भी कोई आने वाले नहीं है आप लोग बोलते हो मैं बोलता हूं कि रसूल मेहदी अलैहिस्सलाम है बखर किसी भी नफ़त के लिहाजा मेरा दावा सही है आप लोगों का गलत ये दूसरा दावा भी मेरा आप लोगों के खिलाफ है प्रेजेंट जो आपका अकीदा है उसके खिलाफ यानी मेरा कहना यह है कि मेहदी अलैहिस्सलाम अल्लाह के रसूल हैं बखर किसी भी किस्म के नफ़त और एक ही रसूल आने की बशात हदीस में थी और कुरान पक में थी जो मैं आ गया और वो मैं हूँ अलहमदिल्ला और मैं नबी नहीं किसी भी किस्म का तीसरा पॉइंट आप लोगों का कहना यह है कि अल्लाह अकबर खुरान पाक नाजिल हुआ मोहम्मद मुस्तफ़ा सल्लल्लाहु अलैहि वसल्लम पर सिर्फ एक ही रसूल के लिए और एक ही नबी सल्लल्लाहु अलैहि वसल्लम के लिए और सारे इंसानों के लिए लेकिन मेरा ऐलान यह है कि खुरान पाक नाजिल हुआ दो रसूलों के वास्ते एक ही वक्त में मोहम्मद मुस्तफ़ा सल्लल्लाहु अलैहि वसल्लम पर जो रसूल भी हैं नबी भी हैं लेकिन महदी आसलम के लिए भी अहकाम पहले से मौजूद हैं जितनी आयत रसूल की हैं कुरान में वो महदी आसलम पर भी लगती हैं जब वो आ गए तो मैं वह आ गया अलहमद लिहाजा रसूल कि सारी बातें जितनी लिखी है कुरान में वो पूरे मेहदी सलाम के साथ अटैच है क्योंकि मेहदी सलाम अल्लाह के रसूल हैं यानी मैं अल्लाह का रसूल हूँ बगैर किसी भी नबत के नोट करिए लेकिन मुसलमानों का यह है कि नहीं कोई रसूल नहीं है मोहम्मद मुस्तफ़ा वसलम के बाद हम आशिक रसूल कहते हैं अरे आशिक रसूल हैं अच्छी बात है सल वसम लेकिन क्या नबी के खिलाफ जाना ये जायज़ है कुरान हदीस के खिलाफ आप लोग जज्बा हो गए हैं ना कोई दीन का आपके पास फहम रह गया ना आपके पास सपोर्टिंग प्रूफ है कुरान हदीस से आपका जो मामला है वो सिर्फ जज्बाती है चौथा पॉइंट मोहम्मद मुस्तफ़ा सल्लल्लाहु अलैहि वसल्लम हदीस में बयान कर रहे हैं मस्जिद दजाल के बारे में लेकिन उसे कुरान में नज़र नहीं आता मेरा ये ऐलान है कि मेहदी आसलम का जिक्र कुरान में आया लफ्ज़ मेहदी भी आया है ईसा बिन मरीम आसलम के साथ सूर्य अलमायदा आयत नंबर एक के अंदर महद के माने हैं मेहदी मेहदी से महद जो है लफ्ज़ यानी गोद में उसी तरीके से मेरा ऐलान सच्चा है और आपका ये कहना कि मेहदी आसलम का जिक्र है कुरान हदीस में लेकिन मस्जिद अज्जाल का नहीं है तो मेरा ऐलान ये है कि मस्जिद अज्जाल का भी जिक्र है लेकिन टुकड़े टुकड़ों में है पूरी कुरान पाक में उसको जमा करके देखना है 1400 साल से कोई मुसलमान ये शख्स पहचान नहीं सका कि मस्जिद अज्जाल का जिक्र कुरान में मौजूद है लेकिन मैं उसको निकाल कर बताया आप लोगों का कहना यह है कि मस्जिद अज्जाल का जिक्र हदीस में आया कुरान में नहीं आया लेकिन मेरा ऐलान यह है कि मस्जिद अज्जाल का जिक्र परफेक्टली कुरान में भी आया लेकिन आप लोगों को नहीं दिखा दूसरी बात मेरा यह कहना है कि मस्जिद सॉरी मेरा यह कहना है कि मस्जिद जाल मिर्जा गुलाम अहमद खादीनी जमात अहमद यह है लेकिन आम मुसलमानों का कहना यह है कि मस्जिद जाल मिर्जा गुलाम अहमद खादीनी नहीं है वह एक आम कज्जाब दज्जाल है चौथा पॉइंट मेरा कहना यह है कि जितने भी महदी सलाम मसीम की निशाना हदीस में पूरी किताबों में आए हैं वो मुझसे मैच करे हैं लेकिन उनका कहना यह है कि वो मैच नहीं करे फिर मेरा ये कहना है कि मस्जिद जाल के बारे में और महदी सलाम के बारे में जितनी बशारतें हदीस में आई हैं कुरान में भी आई हैं ये सारे के सारे जो है पूरे हिंदुस्तान की तरफ इशारा करती हैं और वो सिंबॉलिक हैं यानी उसके इंटरप्रटेशन जो हदीसों में आए हैं नबी सल्लल्लाहु अलैहि वसल्लम के खाब के जरिए मस्जिद जाल के बारे में और मसीह के बारे में या महदी वसलम के बारे में उसका उसकी ताबिर कुछ और है लेकिन मुसलमानों का कहना यह है नहीं नहीं वो ताबिर कुछ और नहीं जो बोले मोहम्मद वसलम वैसे होने वाला है बेशक होने वाला है लेकिन खाब की ताबीर दूसरे ढंग से भी होना जरूरी है ना तो लोग बोल रहे हैं मुसलमान के नहीं नहीं मेहदी आसलम और मस्जिद जाल दोनों तवाफ ईसा अम्बल मरीम और मस्जिद जाल तवाफ करते रहेंगे मक्का में फिर दूसरी हदीस में आता है कि तवाफ नहीं वो मस्जिद जाल दाखिला नहीं होगा मक्का में मदीना में लिहाजा मुसलमानों का कहना यह है कि ये ख्वाब जो है ताबीर इसकी दूसरी नहीं होती वही ताबीर होती लेकिन मेरा बोलना यह है जितने भी मस्जिद जाल और मसीह आसलम के निशाना हदीस में आए हैं उसकी ताबीर कुछ और ढंग से पूरी हुई है अलहमदिल्ला 
मुसलमानों का कहना यह है मक्का मदीना जो हदीस में आया है मस्जिद जाल और महदी सलाम के साथ वो अरब का है मेरा कहना है कि मक्का मदीना से मुराद बैतुलमुदस जो आया है लफ्ज़ वो मस्जिद अक्सा खादियान पंजाब की है और मदीना के जो माने आए हैं शहर के वो हैदराबाद के जहाँ मसिया रहते हैं मतलब इसका मतलब ये नहीं कि हैदराबाद मदीना हो गया या बैतुलमुदस जो मस्जिद अक्सा है वो मक्का हो गया मतलब ये नहीं मतलब ये कि वो खाब की ताबीर क्या